Now we want to focus on showing the timeline on the home page if a user is signed in. And then we can add to this, we can update our status, we can view our friend statuses, and then we can reply and like them as well. So we're going to take this part just to set up the template. And then if the user is signed in, instead of showing this welcome page here, we'll show our timeline. So if we head over to our text editor, we are going to go over to our home controller here and we're going to create a condition in here to return a separate view if the user is signed in. So what we need to do is a quick check here to say if auth check, we want to return a different view. And that view is going to be timeline.index. So let's create this view then. So over under views, we'll create a new folder called timeline and we'll create a new file in here called timeline or index.blade.php. So again, we're going to copy the uh, template extending from the home page and we'll get rid of this. And inside of here, you'll find markup for this in the course downloads. So if we just paste that in, I'll just quickly explain what this is. So we have an overall row here. We have a six column and a uh, another row at the bottom just here for our timeline statuses. And essentially we have a form in here that's going to allow us to submit a new status or update our status. So if we just refresh now, you can see, well, we have an auth facade error because inside of our home controller, we're using this auth facade. So if we just use that there, then we should be good. And when we're signed in, we see this uh, box here or this form here that we can update our status from. Of course, if we go ahead and sign out, we just see the normal home page. So let's sign in and go back to our home page. Ah, wrong password. And in the next part, we're going to look at how we can type a status in here, hit update status and store that status in the database. We obviously need a migration for statuses. So let's do that next as well.